Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm with GetGolfFit.com, and I help golfers hit the ball further and improve their consistency, as well as help reduce injuries. And I'm speaking today with Ian Hart. And Ian, I want you to introduce yourself. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm Ian Hart here. I am the owner of EarthFit Personal Training and also uh, a, a co-creator with Back Pain Relief for Life. Uh, we also have a blog and a product, yeah. Great. And a little bit of history about Ian and I. We've met in San Diego. We've actually met a few times, but in San Diego, I was having some low back and hip pain. And we were at a conference, and, and speaking to him, he was like, hey, why don't you come over to the uh, the hotel where I'm at and, and the gym there, and I'll work with you on your hip issue. And I tell you, after... Uh, the therapy that he gave me lasted, I would say, about 20 to 30 minutes, and I felt fantastic afterwards. And I've been doing uh, his recommendations for uh, about two weeks now, and I can tell a huge improvement in uh, not only my hip but my low back. So, um, Ian, why don't you talk a little bit about what my issue was and, and how you helped me resolve it? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, well, obviously knowing your background and just speaking to you, with you a little bit, um, you know, you're a golfer. Um, anytime you have a repeated movement or repeated stress, it's going to cause issues, you know, as you've seen all the other golfers out there, which is, you know, why Tiger Woods had to have knee surgery and all these other issues that golfers have. But you're, you're, you're torquing your hip and your low back repeatedly, and you're you're always hitting from one side, right? So it's repeated movement. So there's going to be a little stress and scar tissue and muscular imbalances. And any time there's a repeated stress, there's always going to be muscular imbalances. And basically that's going to lead to compensation in movement. And then it's going to lead to dysfunction in movement. And then it's going to lead to pain eventually. And sometimes it doesn't lead to pain and there's still a major problem there. Um, and so... You obviously had pain, and you wanted to get rid of it, so we uh, we targeted those muscles that you had the issue with, and just opened up that area and took uh, pressure off of those joints, and allowed for more blood flow, oxygen, and nutrients to get to that area, so you could recover and heal and then move better. Yeah, and uh, I noticed I had a, a knot, like the muscle on my hip was uh, knotted up. But since I've been doing the program, it's I don't feel that knot anymore. So it's yes, so that, that's like uh, common. You'll have like um, when people get knots in their body, it impedes the flow of energy and blood and nutrients. And we like to say uh, have the analogy of an internet connection, right? So if you have knots in your body, it's going to prevent that energy. From so it's like a dialogue, right? Right. So sometimes it's worse than dialogue because there's just completely blocked and you're not getting any connection. So we want high speed internet access, obviously. So what we do is we target those areas that allow for electricity. You know, we're electrical human beings. We send impulses from our brain to every part of our body. We want it. We want that connection to be fast fluid, especially for golf, when you have a full body movement like that, things have to flow properly. If you have those knots there and you're trying to hit a golf ball, you're going to compensate. If you're eventually going to cause some pain somewhere in the body. It's either going to be in that area where the, the issue is, a lot of times it ends up somewhere else. So like, if someone has a hip issue, they end up with knee pain. Or if they have an ankle issue, they end up with vice versa. So we wanted to break up that knot, uh, loosen up the area, and then that allows, kind of stretch the, the tight muscles, strengthen the weak muscles, and then allow for blood flow, again, get that internet connection, that connection, mind-body connection, moving rapid, fast, which is why you felt almost like you were high, afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah, actually, I wasn't going to mention that, but it did feel like... Uh... You know, I had had a few beers. I had a little kind of a buzz going. It was uh, 
I've never experienced that before. Yeah, so that's just like more oxygen, nutrients, and activation of your nervous system. And uh, it's just, that's, you know, how the body should be connected, right? Like, like full connection, and that was, you had an impedance there. So we just opened it up, and right away, you had like, boom, to the brain, that connection was there, and you automatically felt like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was amazing. And I, I have a, a quite a Twitter list here, and I've got some questions from uh, some of my followers, and I was curious if we could get some uh, answers to their questions. Yeah, sure. Uh, I've got a question here from TJ. It says here he's 35, had la- laminectomy at 28 years age, chronic pain down his left leg and hip, and he's always stiff, and he says nothing helps. Uh, do you have any advice for him? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sorry to hear that he had back pain at such a young age and had surgery already. Um, yeah, I mean, usually what happens is, uh, again, he probably had compensation somewhere for um, dysfunction, and he either or has atrophy, severe atrophy around the lower back and lower spine, and they're putting a lot of pressure on the discs, or maybe he had some trauma there, which caused the disc to probably protrude and hit a nerve or something, which is, I'm assuming, why they had the surgery. Um, and that's, again, that's just an assumption. But, yeah, there's definitely um, a lot of things in the world. And um, we have people come to us all the time who are in the same situation want to be want to prevent that surgery. And uh, what we do is do specific movements that helps take pressure off the discs, and again, allow for more blood flow and oxygen so that area can actually recover. And um, the spine is vital for getting nutrients to the rest of the body, and there's nutrients that comes through the synovial fluid of the spine, and uh, <clears throat> what we do is we open up, we, we, we would stretch the tight muscles, so um, it would tough for me to say specifically since I, I can't talk to him, but we would stretch the tight muscles, strengthen the weak muscles, and then allow for a little bit of uh, compression on the back in a certain way. It sounds like you know, to certain people, compression, they might think, oh, it doesn't sound good. But it's compression that allows for more nutrients to get to that area, because without compression, synovial fluid doesn't get to the spine, it actually doesn't get to the rest of the lower back. And then also activate those muscles that support the spine. Because if those muscles are atrophied, then you're not going to be supporting the spine in the way that needs to be. You're not going to work and use those muscles that support the spine, and you're going to end up putting stress, more stress on your lower back, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and would any of the, uh, the exercises that you had me do in San Diego, would those help? Yeah, those are specific exercises for strengthening the lower back and also uh, the hip, opening up the hips. Uh, and with with that said, there are exercises that certain people should do and shouldn't do. Like uh, um, sometimes you'll see people do, uh, you know, something. I'm trying to think of exercises like they'll do like side twists or bends and stuff like that, side bends, right. those are things you want to stay away from. Um, because first off, if you're doing golf, you're probably going to be doing enough twisting anyways. Right. And the back's not generally not designed to do that twisting, which is why it's even more important to have those strong muscles that support the back um, and get them stronger and stronger through training properly. Great. And I have another question. Uh, Brian Smith has severe back sprain. He had an MRI, MRI taken, and it is negative. He's started therapy. Are there any other suggestions that he can do? Uh, uh, yeah, again, without knowing how he sprained it and what he did, uh, we have tons of similar situations. Uh, you said the MRI was negative. So Correct. He had, his discs were okay. Yeah, um, like, just like I said, that sprain probably occurred because
because he compensated with his movement and the muscles weren't strong enough to support his movement that he did. So, uh, and we see this happen a lot because And I have another question from a high school golfer where his lower back is tight and kills after every round. Do you have any tips for loosening that up? Yeah, I could tell like two specific. Um, first off, before you want to stretch, you should, you should always warm up. And uh, after golfing, you're not necessarily warmed up. Um, it, it should be more of a warm up where you're kind of sweating and breathing in a little heavy so you get more oxygen to the body. Uh, but specifically, there's two stretches that you do, um, where it's kind of like a butterfly stretch, just like one of the ones we did with you, uh, where they get in that butterfly position, grab the toes, and keep their back a little straight, and then pull themselves forward. And that's going to help take the pressure off the lower back and to stretch that area. Um, and then also, just like a sit and reach, feet together, legs extended reaching for the toes, and the same thing, kind of pull the lower back towards the, the toes, and then push the forehead down towards the knee, um, and I can send you some pictures if you want of those stretches. Sure, that but, would be um, great, and you're not rounding your back though, are you? Uh, um, you are going to round your back to a certain degree, you want to kind of pull it forward and then push your, your head down, it kind of seems counterintuitive, because a lot of times no, you you're told to like have a straight back, and that's true when you're lifting things and you're picking stuff up off the ground. But this is very specific movement for actually taking stress off the lower back. Um, and also, with that said, he probably has a weak back, so the stretching will help to some degree. But really, I'm and again, I'm just assuming, making assumption that he probably needs to strengthen that area around the spine. Okay. And uh, I have another question from Sam. Uh, looks like he has a bulg bulging slash slipped disc. He says he's working with the chiropractor. He does not want surgery. Uh, would like to strengthen this area. Uh, any suggestions for him? Yeah, um, you know, ch the chiropractor can be beneficial um, to a certain degree. For the most part, it's usually muscular that's causing the issue, and this is true for about 85% of the people that have uh, severe back pain, that muscular balances the issue, and the rest is usually the trauma. So manipulation is only going to go so far. Um, so really, again, it's going to be strengthening and stretching certain muscles to correct the muscular imbalances. Um, and, uh, you know, if I had him here, I would ask him, uh, or I, I would take him through body tests, kind of see where his issues were and then correct it from there. But um, for the most part, a lot of people have very tight inner thighs um, and, and they're, they're tight and weak outer thighs or glute medius, which is um, part of the glute muscle that does uh, moving the leg outward. And... Um, you know, that would be a place to start, uh, maybe look at, and, and again, I could be totally wrong, I'm just keep telling you like what we see, a high percentage of, um, and just right away, uh, specific movements will probably have to take stress off the back, and again, taking pressure off the discs and, and, and putting the discs and spine in alignment will allow the disc to pop right to the proper place. And, uh, Thwart off surgery, well, not only thwart off surgery, but pain free, which is better. Uh, I, I lived with that pain for some time too, and um, I know how it feels, so uh, that's kind of why we got in this business. And, um, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, I can't even imagine trying to play golf uh, with a slip disc. Uh, it, it, it seems like it would be extremely painful. The very yeah, least. That, that doesn't sound fun at all, especially uh, with the powerful movements that you need and the strength you need to, to, to swing the golf club. Right. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, can you tell uh, the viewers a little bit more about how they can get this information? Uh, 
to start these programs? Um, yeah, we, the, the program that we have is called Back Pain Relief for Life. And um, the program specifically for golfers, we actually have worked with a lot of golfers on this. Um, and we actually have thought about turning one into a specific golf product because we had such success with it. Um, but currently it's just called Back Pain Relief for Life. It's actually Back Pain Relief for Life.com at the number four. Uh, it's where people can read more about uh, the program and actually be able to see some of the people that we've helped. And, and like those questions you just had, you know, we've had people who don't have any pieces in the back, um, people who couldn't walk. So those people actually sound like they're in a better position than a lot of people to treat uh, or worked with. Um, you know, people literally couldn't get out of bed. We're told, like, you can't ever do cardio again. You should never play sports again. You should never do this again. And these are, this was told by, by uh, physical therapists, spine specialists, and then they come in and three weeks later, they're given a new freedom because we target the root cause. And a lot of times people look through these specialists and they'll get a laminectomy or they'll um, get an injection or they'll take medication, but that doesn't solve the root cause of the problem. It's really just a band-aid and that's why people aren't getting better not getting relief because again a band-aid is not going to do much you want to target the root cause of the problem so that's what we created a program that targets the root cause of the problem and again you know we're, we live in america right people want fast and easy results this program not only gives fast and easy results on the other end of it you know it's not like taking a pill it's a, it's like taking a pill in a sense after you're done like you felt like you could yeah be it did, it did feel like I, like I had taken a pill. Right. Because it, it literally, when you do the program, it's like medication for your back. It's literally like taking medication for your back. There's neurotransmitters and all the chemical process. Uh, it puts that in, into your back and into your brain. And that's why you feel like a uh, good mind-body connection. You, feel, um, you just feel relief right away. Yeah, and absolutely. Two days later your body recovers and you get stronger and better at it. Right, yeah, it was uh, fantastic. It, I mean, I was in pain all that day and that evening I was able to sleep nice, nice and comfortable and it was fantastic. So I highly recommend backpainreliefforlife.com and uh, thank you Ian for speaking with us and I hope you, uh, the uh, viewers enjoy this and can put some of this to use. Uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.